at 24, Keseri was dressing the deputy president of Kenya. I mean, that was big. Oh my, that's good. That's really good. I transformed passion to, I don't know if I should call it a career or a source of money. <laughs> My name is Merin Keseri Muholo, a 26-year-old fashion designer and stylist. I used to notice kitenges in, uh, that have been tailored, but my mom usually didn't like um, kitenges done for her because she kept saying, ah, you need Kenya uniform because you would see someone in this design and then walk five, five minutes later and see someone else in the same design or the same fabric. And I feel like they were not really done nicely and it made me not wear a lot of kitenges because of that. Also, I found out that I have a specific way of dressing up. I love to just cover almost everywhere and I couldn't get such outfits from Mitumba and ready to wear. I would find something really nice and long, but it's sleeveless or something really nice and long, but it's too fitting on me. So I had to buy fabrics and go to tailors for my outfits to be done the way I want. And head wraps, I developed a taste for head wraps, uh, I think when I finished my primary school, that was around 2009. And since then I've been doing, I've been covering my hair and I was lucky to later on in campus do it as a business. And it's doing really well right now. I started my business with selling Mabuyu, first of all. There's a time in Kenya which it was very hot. I don't know why it was too hot. So I thought, I had a couple of deras and people were like, um, Keseri, you feel nice because it's too hot and you're just free and you know, you, you don't have to, to be in very tight clothes. Your deras are so nice. Can you sell me some? So the first person ever, I sold them, they, they didn't mind me to sell them. You know, they were like, if you can sell to me what you have, no problem. So we go into the hostel, get to my room. She picks out a few pieces of what she likes. And of course, her head wraps also. And I was like, hmm, I can start this as a business. And um, that's how I did. I went to coast, I saved up some money, of course. Went to coast. As I was in coast, I thought, hmm, apart from selling out of the head wraps and deras, what else can I sell that I can sell even in class when the lecturer is teaching, you know, and I can just put it in my bag. And if, if it's a man who doesn't wear deras, they can buy mabuyu and all that and the cherry and those nice snacks from the coast. And that's how I did it. I started my business with 8,000 shillings. 3,000 apo ilikuwa ya kuenda Mombasa, 1,500, na 1,500 ya kurudi. And then 5,000 was my Pesaya kununua dera, fabric, ah, sorry, dera, na mabuyu na achari. When I was 24, just going to my 25, a client used to tell me all the time, Kesari, I will introduce you to my boss. You do a very good job, so I didn't know who the boss is. I will introduce you to my boss. And one time, I'm coming from Mombasa, I'm just landing Wilson, and then I see a call. Of course, when you're still up Ukoju, you can't, you can, you can see a call. If you're lucky, you can pick it. If you're not lucky, you can't pick it. So you can only pick it if you guys have landed and maybe getting out of a plane, whatever. So she tells me, I need you to meet uh, someone and take their measurements. We're planning this and this and this. I'm like, ah, oh, no problem. So I straight go there. Go see her in Kilimani. So at around three, of course, they're talking with their other friends. Like, ah, boss is calling me. So she tells me, Kesari, do this. You go to the office, go and rest Kidogo, and then I will call you when I leave, uh, my, I leave the, my boss's office in Karen. So I come back to the office, I'm here. She calls me and tells me, uh, Kesari, my boss has approved that you will be making clothes for him. I'm like, before I even ask who, he says, you will, we will need to go there. You have an appointment on Thursday at eight. So I'm like, okay, boss. Oh, he says, ah, you know, I told you my, who my boss is. My boss is, my boss is a deputy president. So I'm like, okay. So I, I was seated, I stand, I come here. I'm like, so we're going to see him for, okay, we're going to make clothes. Because earlier we had done some outfits for him. I didn't know it's him. But we had done some outfits and he loved the fabric, he loved, he loved the, the workmanship, he loved the finishing and all that. 
So that's how I started. That was uh, sometime in January last year. And I am so proud because since we started doing the outfits for him, we have seen other people, people, don't, don't, they don't just wear kitenge, you know, not just kitenge shirt. They wake up and do kidogo ni 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 ni. And I mean, it, it, it feels good, but I feel like it's until we, until we and my team, my team, my fundies, my anyone I've ever worked with since then, it's, 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 it's our work, Atakama Ilionekana, now one person, the deputy president, but everyone else embraced guests. And that for me has been the greatest, greatest, greatest um, accomplishment for me. And I feel like I did that at a very young age because at 24, I don't know what other people in Kenya and the world are doing at 24, but at 24, Keseri was dressing the deputy president of Kenya. I mean, um, that was big. Uh, parting shots. <laughs> you will cut that out. Eh, Nikonayo. Parting shots. Never wait. There is never a right time to start something. If you have the idea and you have one resource or two, answer na you.